What are you doing, Mum? Mum, it's half nine. If you get your makeup done now, it'll be half ten. When you get your, your, your hair done, it'll be twelve by the time you finish, which is when we're leaving. You don't start kicking off at everyone. No one else is kicking off. Just get your eyes put on and then you're going to have your hair done in ten minutes. No, babe, the mum, the hair and makeup. Don't start being a bitch. Oh, I can't be arsed. Happy wedding day. Thank you. As much as I'm excited about our big day next year, I think this day will be the most special. And weirdly, probably the one that we'll enjoy the most because it's really intimate and, yeah, we'll be actually married after that. I woke up at six like it was Christmas Day. 25 people, closest friend, family. So we're going to have a good time. This is my sister in law, this is Dunia. I will officially be your wife. So that's so special, and that's actually what it's all about. So I'm really excited for that. But Mom, get, get them to put some nice products in it that smooth it and all that. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> She'll be fine, just ignore her. <laughs> She's like, oh. How are you feeling this morning? Fine, I will be once I've had my coffee. Let me just get it. Oh. Yeah, I'm actually fine. I think, um, not that I've been married before, but I presume all wedding mornings are quite stressful now. Yeah. I hope it all goes to plan. Honestly, I don't know why. I said this the other day, but I genuinely do get this like really horrible, nervous feeling. Because I actually woke up this morning and I was like, what if something really yeah, terrible happens? Yeah, like, there's a fire at the, the wedding venue and they have to cancel it all. Honestly, I just had these wild thoughts. Luckily, I have a wedding planner and me and her will be... And an assistant. And, uh... All right, you. It's a 924. Riyadh has had absolutely no input in the whole thing, have you? I actually don't think you even know where I'm we're getting still married. On the base. That's the life, isn't it? He wants to turn up on the day, everything be perfect, have a really nice time, no stress, no drama, and just enjoy it. And to be fair, don't blame him. I wish I had it that easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm actually ready for a, a drink, I think, now. <laughs> Take a piece of paper. Lauren and the team are absolutely amazing. I know they're going to make the venue look unbelievable and bring my vision to life. It's come through. Just putting all the table places together. So when we do transform the room, everything's ready. Are you kidding? You're, it's only two hours till you're ready. I know, I can't believe it. We've literally, like... Obviously, I've not even got a scrap of makeup on yet. My hair looks like this, which was not the finished product. And there's still, like, so many people to get their hair and makeup done. I knew I should have booked more people. Oh, shit. The broke. Stay still either one sec. So, basically, that first chair is going to have to be for Ash as soon as he... Oh, so it's on the right. Right. I've just told them the wrong side. My phone is, like, literally blowing up. I've just left it on the side, because I'm like, you know what, if I sit and, like, look through all the messages, it just stresses me out more. So I'm like, just let everyone do what they want to do. Like, just make your own decisions. I've got to deal with, like, getting the kids ready, sorting myself out, making sure everyone else is ready, making sure the family's OK, making sure everything's planned for the ceremony, everything's running smoothly there. Everything's fine, it's always just a rush, isn't it? I've just realised the time. <laughs> I've been very calm so far. Do you want me to put the reserve signs at the front? I think that needs to go in a little bit. Sorry, I know, I'm so sorry. Riyadh's so chill, like he's like Mr. Cool and Calm under pressure. He's just sat with his music on, having his hair cut, like it's any other day. But it's not the same for guys, like it's so easy for guys, like there's no stress. He's literally just got to cut his hair, shove his suit on and go, like that is it.
He was one of the best men for my sister's wedding and he wore trainers on the wedding day. So there was like uproar between the family because he was like, I don't want to wear smart shoes, I don't like them. Isla, we're not finished. He was like, I don't want to wear smart shoes, I don't like them. So I thought he's definitely going to wear trainers. But I actually just looked in the cupboard before and he's got a pair of like smart, shiny shoes. I was like, what the hell? Is he maturing or what? This is crazy. I didn't even have to have an argument with him to get him to wear them. I'm like, this is just like baffling. He can wear what he wants. At the end of the day, when it's our wedding day, just, I'm like, you know what? As long as we walk down the aisle, you're happy, I'm happy. I'd rather him wear something he's comfortable in. So. No, it's just, it's not mine. It's mine, but it's not Yeah, we are very last minute people. I feel like this is just a normal day in our lives. It's never stress free, unfortunately. Looking gorgeous. One sec. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, you're taking forever. I'm not ready, don't get mad. I am next. Stressing. You have to leave. She doesn't want. No, she's on the phone. No outfit. I think it's just running late. His mum's not found an outfit. She doesn't have one. Right. The grand reveal, let's like, see if this ring fits on my finger. Let me go put the. Oh my god, I'm very stressed. This is a wedding. Darby is everything you could need in a big sister. She always helps me out and she's always got my back. Taylor, one minute, she's coming. We've always been so close growing up. Like my mum used to dress us in the same outfits when we were younger. We did everything together. And I think we've just kind of kept that relationship as we've got older. Breathe. Let's just try this ring on. I'm like so stressed, imagine it doesn't fit. She's just gone out and bought another one. We own a jewellery brand together, so she definitely knows a thing or two about rings. I've just gone for this. We just went for Cartier ones in the end. That is amazing. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, oh my God, it I looks love really it. small. No, I'm actually stressed. OK, it's a little bit small. Oh, my God, right fits. Oh, wow. That'll be nice. Oh, That'll wear nice. just for, like, the... Oh, my God, I love it. Do you like it? Oh, it's beautiful. <sighs> Stress it over. Fits. Breathe, breathe. Right. I'm, right. I am worried that you've got no makeup on and you've got yeah, all let's your just... friends and everyone before yourself and you need to get yourself ready. Yeah, right, let's go. I'm stressed. It's about you today. I know. I'm going to... I'm... Yeah. Put your ring away. Give it to someone who's responsible. Just, just leave out. it here and then, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come in, Tina. Hiya! Um, there's, there's like a room with 25 people in there, and um, yeah, she's not even finished makeup, so I think everyone's gonna be running a little late, but I couldn't really get anything. When they asked me whether I wanted to get married at, at one or three, I don't know why the frick, I thought we'd be ready by one. Should have said three, no one has laughed. How wrong I was. Do yeah, I get to do it again. So we've got an hour until the ceremony now. Um, we're on track with everything, but I've just had a call from Elle and she said Taylor's still getting the makeup done. <laughs> so it's a bit worrying, but um, true Taylor style. We're just running a bit behind, but I mean, that, let's be honest. We said we didn't expect it, but I knew it would happen. Uh, Phoebe, yeah? Yes. Card. I won't lose. I'll have to open it later because yeah. I will cry and it's just... I can't cry because I have my makeup yeah, done. Is that about my mum? Oh, you OK? My puppy. Oh. <laughs> you, um... Oh, God, I can't speak French today. The stress levels are too high. But that little bit... Oh, hello! You look lovely. Oh, yeah, I love you. Look you look so smart. Do not they? Really 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 oh, <laughs> I've never seen you ever look so smart in all your life. Yeah. Oh my god, I can actually nearly see that. I met Riyadh four years ago whilst I was walking down the street from the Christmas markets. 
I bumped into one of his friends and he was the passenger seat in the car, so he wound his window down and I was like, hi. And then you locked eyes with me and it was love at first sight. <laughs> we were speaking for a while until you eventually took me on a date. We went to the cinema and we watched quite possibly the worst film like ever. Like private cinema, just me and her. And all this was Scream. And she, she had no clue what was Scream. I'd never seen Scream and like, Scream. This movie, everyone knows Scream. And yeah, four years in, so must be going all right. You decided to marry me. So sorry, we need powder. I'm literally like, this dress is so hot. Yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, a bit nervous. Ten minutes tall already, and that'll probably take another 15 to get there, so all right. I would say so, yeah, maybe a little, a little bit longer. Just spoke to Elle then and she said that there's no way. I'm gonna be on time. So we're just waiting for Taylor, she's got a dress on, and we're just waiting for her to leave the hotel now. But we've done everything's ready from our side, so we just need her to arrive. <laughs> Well, you might have to be there 15 minutes to get watching. Taylor? Where is she? Yeah. Come on, T Ward. Don't trip. Oh. Imagine I just don't just flying down the stairs now. Oh, Game you. over. Weather's perfect, everyone's here, everyone's happy, we got all the dresses, <laughs> the rings, everything fell into place as it always does, so I'm really happy. It's good to be with Taylor. She's uh, she's smart. She's funny. She's. Uh... <laughs> so good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And a very warm welcome to you all here today. For the she's uh, really really nice and uh, always trying to please people. And she looks after our baby and family good. That's the nicest thing you've ever said. Those really normal impediments in this marriage. He or she should be clear of Riyadh's a bit like an onion, he's got layers and I think when you first meet him you probably think he's quite quiet and shy but the more you get to know him he's nothing what people think originally. He's actually the most fun, loving, kind character. I think I just knew he was the one from like very early on in our relationship. He's always made me feel so secure, so loved and he just shares all the same values that I wanted in a partner. Let me be the one. On behalf of myself and the city of Westminster, it now gives me great pleasure to be here with you are now.
We're married. What the hell? Oh, that's ring. Oh my god, it's an engagement ring squashed on ready ring. <laughs> we managed to get it on, it's all good, and we are married. I feel like we're getting stronger. Got a baby now, a family. Another baby, another baby soon. No, not yet. <laughs> Maybe uh, next year. Gentlemen, please put your hands together for the new Mr. and Mrs. Mares. Yeah.